We're with Elena Larkins. How would you describe your feelings right now? A little bittersweet? Definitely. This year was, uh, was a roller coaster. Individually and collectively in the beginning, we didn't start off well, but it was all worth it. You know, we made it to the very final game of the season, and um, we came up short, but that doesn't overshadow the season we had. Roller coaster, I think, a good word for the team, and probably for you, too. I mean, you dealt with a lot of injuries early on. I know it was a struggle for you dealing with that knee early on, and there were times when we weren't sure how much we were even going to be able to have you the rest of the season, but then you came back and you played terrifically in the playoffs. Can you just kind of take us through your year? It, it was rough. It was rough. Uh, I had a knee issue, and then they thought I had a stress fracture in my shin. Uh, you know, I had a, I lost an uncle in, in August, so it was rough, but I made it, and I made it out with the, a lot of bumps and bruises and a couple scratches, but it was worth it. What is it about you and playoffs? It seems to bring the best out in you. I have no idea. I would honestly have to say just this season in general specifically because uh, I felt better in the playoffs. In the beginning of the season, it was I wasn't feeling great at all but I felt better at the at the right time so what about your game I know the offensive rebound is maybe where you are best known on the offensive glass and and as as a forward as a center in terms of height you're a little undersized but I know the fans are so used to watching you through the trees come out with the ball there what about your technique your game makes you so successful in that area just being in the right spot at the right time I do a lot of rebounding after practice for teammates so you kind of get a feel for where the ball's going to come off at, the backspin on that ball and things like that. So just being in the right spot, um, it's half the battle, but then uh, actually not allowing somebody to keep you from the ball is the other half. So I do both well, I think. How much you had Stephanie White in her first year, but how much was having her around the previous years? Correct me if I'm wrong here, but it didn't really feel like a normal transition that a team might go through when they're switching head coaches. Yeah, I would say that was great having Coach here, but somebody we already knew, somebody who already kind of knew the the style of play um, of the organization, defensive-minded first. So that was cool. We didn't have to, like, learn somebody completely different. So that was great. And Coach is a great coach, and she's a – She's one of the younger coaches, but most importantly, she also played for this organization. So she knows that a lot of these people that are here have been here, come and gone, and, um, and now she's uh, the head coach of an organization, so that's great. But there was some transition, right? I mean, it was a faster-paced game. There was some learning to do early on. It was a lot. It was a lot. Uh, it was a lot faster than we played with Lynn. But the defense always stayed the same, and I kind of—I don't know. I think it was more exciting for people to see us go up and down the court instead of the traditional East Coast basketball. You guys had so many great moments, uh, from starting three and six to that run you made during the year, to the Chicago series, the New York series, the Minnesota series. If you had to pick a moment that sticks out, the top moment for you this year, can you do that? And what would it be? I don't know if there is a top moment. But I would say uh, one of my most memorable moments of the playoffs was uh, beating Chicago. It really kind of uh, it felt good. <laughs> they had your number a little bit. Not even necessarily. It wasn't about the regular season that uh, had our number type of thing. I mean, that's something that's obvious, and you don't kind of you don't forget about that. But to have them win on our home court and go to the finals last year was something we remembered and it was kind of payback this year to not only get them but to put them out like in the first round so that was probably like a pretty cool moment and that new york game here the playoff game was pretty special too i mean it was special then to go in on on somebody else's court um again was pretty cool it's pretty cool what are your plans now that the wnba season's over resting resting until january and then going overseas and just working on my game we wish you the best of luck. Congrats on a great season, Elena Larkins. Thank you.